After winning the Causeway Classic against UC Davis to close out their season, and after all of the celebration was over, on and off the field, Sac State head coach Jody Sears was named Big Sky Conference Co-Coach of the Year, becoming the first Hornets coach to win the award since the program moved to the Big Sky back in 1996. It's a, a cumulative thing that starts with the players and then you got to look at those coaches and that staff and those position coaches and the job that they have done to get those kids to this point the buy-in the 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 accountability is tremendous and yeah i get i, I get the put they get to put my name on it but it's really it's the, it's the players and the staff on the offensive side of the football, the success of this team was led by the Hornets' offensive line. We had our whole offensive line coming back, coming back from a 2-9 season to where, you know what, we, we, we did okay in 16 running the football. We had that whole group coming back, and we had some good young talent. I thought we could run the ball, and we did. We very successfully. Sacramento State did more than just run the football. When Kevin Thompson took over the starting job at quarterback, Sacramento State passed the ball as well, racking up a conference best 42 touchdowns. They averaged 490 yards of total offense per game. And when you add a very stingy defense led by the D-line, Sac State finished with a 6-2 Big Sky Conference record, 7-4 overall. Now we're sitting here. I, yes, I would love to be in the playoffs. I, I, I really truly believe that you know, we were probably one of the hottest teams in, in maybe the country. You know, we were playing our best ball towards the end of the year. And um, I, I, I would, I really, really, was really, really proud of them. Coach Sears became the interim head coach back in 2014, but didn't coach like a lame duck. He and his staff decided to recruit mainly high school seniors with the game plan of bringing them along and by their senior year in college, the Hornets football program would benefit for a very long time. Those young kids are all growing up and, and they're, they've gotten a, a lot better. And You know, you win seven games, you, win, you go from two and six to six and two, the first time in, in school history, first time in school history win seven games at the D1 level. Um, and so we were able to reap. So after reaping those rewards of starting with young kids and not using a majority of community college athletes, what should Hornet fans expect for the future? Moving forward, um, I love our staff. I love the culture that's been created. I love the fact that our kids are playing for each other. And we're not going to just have 25 juniors or seniors. We're going to have some guys behind them, too, to where hopefully and the, that's what the plan was when you build it from the ground up is that you can have some consistent success.